Hello, and welcome to the Art Hitman. I'm Perry McCants, and today I'm gonna to show you how to draw green arrow. Let's begin. Go ahead and start your line from top to bottom. And please help me give 50 likes and 30 comments for these how to draw videos. Now, let's begin putting this uh, oval shape in for his head. And it could be straight up and down. Once you've completed that, we always put an oval, or I always like to say, what I like to do is put an oval underneath his uh, head. That determines the length of his neck. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and measure the top of the head to the chin with our index and thumb. Move down for the chest. Mark it. Move down one more time, and then mark it one more time. This right here is the uh, actual size of his torso, which is the upper body, and that's two heads. You can divide that in half for his chest. In this case, it's gonna be three quarters. So off this center line, we wanna take this line and kind of go on a curve like this, a half a circle. And because we see them from the side and not front. Now, once you've completed that, we can go ahead and put a line through the base of his neck, like so. And this is gonna be somewhat of a foreshortening video. So it's gonna be dealing with his arm coming towards you and uh, so for his shoulder, we want to go ahead and put a circle right here. We're going to concentrate on his left arm for right now really quick. Then after that, we're going to put another circle right here. This is going to be a bicep and tricep. And then a bigger one for his forearm right there. So one, two, and then three. And then his fist is going to be here. So you want his fist to actually be aligned with his shoulder because he is going to be holding a bow and put his, uh, a square shape right here for his hand. Now, uh, we're in the beginning stages, so right now we're roughing everything in so with everything is in its proper place. For his uh, right arm, we're gonna put a circle just like we did for his left arm. And then we're gonna put a, his forearm, forearm in about here. And then this line's gonna come in like this. And his hand is gonna be about here, right underneath his chin. The rest of his body is uh, not important. It's gonna go right off the edge of the page here. So you can put two lines indicating for his waist. Now, let's go ahead and begin starting on his face. I'm gonna switch out my pencil and go with our mechanical pen or my mechanical pencil. And because it's not centered, we're gonna come off centered with a line like this, dividing the face. And then we're gonna put a line right here for his eyes. Immediately after you've done that, the next move we would do is to put in his eyes. So we can go ahead and for uh, this Green Lantern drawing, we're gonna leave out the eyes, almost like a, a cartoon Justice League version. So we wanna have his eye come in and down and then curl his bottom like this. Cause he is wearing a mask and it's the traditional superhero mask without the iris. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. And then for his uh, right side, we wanna squint or make that a little wider. Now, once you've completed both his eyes, we can go ahead and put his face mask in which is gonna come up to the top like this, come down, and then come up again. It's in the shape of an M. I usually like to uh, make shapes and correlate them or match them with what they look like, and then come around to the side like this. Now, for the edge of his head, we can come in and come in near his eye, right? And then come straight down like this for his cheek, and then come over. So the shape is in, out, and then in again. Now, Underneath the bottom part of his mask, it comes straight down and go up and then come down again and then come up again. So these shapes are the M shape and then it's like a W shape at the bottom for the mask. Okay. For his nose, we can come straight down like this and we'll put a line here just so we know how far down the nose is going to be. And keep it simple so we have a line that comes in and around like this and come across. And I usually like to have the nostril come in like this. Keep it simple. For his mouth, he's concentrating on the shooting the arrow. So we're gonna have his mouth come in and over like this and then put a line underneath. Now, once we've gotten to this point, we can go ahead and start on his hood. He's wearing a hood like Robin Hood. So we're gonna come above this face mask like this and it's gonna be pretty low. So make sure that it's just above the mask like this. And then it's gonna come around his ear and come around the bottom of his chin like this. 
and it's going to kind of come in on this side and it's going to fold in just like this you know you want to make it look like a hood so it's not going to be perfect but the shape is going to fold around the neck area because it's baggy then it's going to come in over his head like this if you notice the top of his oval shape is here so you want to keep the uh the hood all the way up and around and have it come down on the side like this then it's going to be baggy on this side right here now we can go back and he does have a goatee and that's the hair around his entire mouth so you can sketch a line in around his mouth come underneath and then it's going to come up underneath his chin like this let me back up so you can see what i'm doing and then come around the other side the same way and then you want to come around this way and have it come off the bottom of his chin now we're going to put his jawline in and come down like so and then you're going to see the bottom portion of his ear right here and have that line come up okay now for the top part of his hood is a line the sewing line and for detail you want to have you want to put this in half right here so you see that minor detail there and then for his neck you want to bring around another piece of the cloth like this now his face is pretty much done it's very simplistic he has a simple mask so now we can go ahead and move on to the rest of his body uh, the first thing I want to do is concentrate on his right hand which is here so we can bring this around and sketch a line just under his chin and his index finger we already have a line set up here that's going to come around like this because he's going to be drawing uh, the bow back and uh, so you want to have his index finger right here okay the next finger and I, I usually put these circles in to indicate so you see which where which uh, finger uh, with each finger and how it goes and what order it goes in to the pinky now this is the index we're going to move to the middle finger it's going to come in the opposite direction of the index finger and it's going to be a little longer than the index finger so have it come around like so now the ring finger is going to follow the middle finger and you can taper that off like this and the pinky finger of course is always the smallest and it's going to be the one that recedes the most and go or goes back the most so once we have his hand complete we're going to come up to his wrist and put a wrist line in here now i'm going to switch my pencil out uh, and it has bolder lines so we can go a little darker so now with the forearm on the right we're going to raise it and come up like this and then around it almost looks like a chicken drumstick so if you think about his forearm, it's in the shape of a chicken drumstick or drum leg as they call it. Now it's raised higher uh, if you see this line here. So the other part of his arm is not going to be as significant. It's going to fall back onto his shoulder, which is here. And then we're going to have this part come down for his outfit. Now we're going to go over to his, uh, his left shoulder and put that in. So we're going to come straight across like this and we're going to come over his uh, shoulder like so. And it's going to come around and he pretty much has a vest on that zips up from the center. So we're going to just come all the way down to the center like this for a zipper line. And then we're going to divide that part in half like so with two lines, one and two. Then his rib cage is going to come in like this. And then we're going to continue this opening underneath his uh, armpit and around the back, as you can see. We're going to come around towards the bottom and close it like this. Now, his outfit has uh, some stitch lines in it that's pretty unique. Uh, we're going to have this part come up like a, a N shape and then come back down. Now, we can concentrate on his uh, left arm. His left arm is important because it's actually holding the arrowhead. So we have his shoulder coming out. Then we have a ring that comes around like this. And feel free to sketch as loose as you want. Uh, sketching is important at this point because we're fleshing out the figure and the pose that he's doing. Okay, so this is the bicep and tricep. We don't see that as much because he, he is wearing leather. So we have another ring that goes around his forearm like this and it's gonna go into his wrist. Almost a complete circle, circle, but not completely. Okay. 
Now for his hand, his um, left hand, we're gonna go ahead and start with the thumb, which is here is the most important piece because it's raised up and it's gonna come around like this. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that thumb is very prominent and that it sticks out and then the rest of his fingers, we're gonna put his knuckle here, here, and then in a descending order here and it falls back with the pinky. So we have this hand that comes, or finger that comes around like this and just under the thumb, that's the index finger. Now the middle finger is always longer, so we're gonna have that come around and then go back. Then we have the ring finger, it's gonna come around and back. And then finally we have the pinky that's the shortest and it's gonna come around like this. Now if you notice, I have one, two, three, and four. The, the knuckle's already there for you, so you don't have to guess uh, where each one goes and it just falls back in the space like this. Then we're gonna have this part of his thumb come around like that. And he does have uh, something on his wrist, like a wrist guard, so we'll draw that in. Now at this point, we're at the point where we can go ahead on and do the arrow head, the actual arrow. So in between his, uh, let's say, his thumb and his index finger, he's holding the actual arrow, arrow. And it's gonna come past here. It's gonna stop right here. So we're just gonna put a line for right now. Now, we're gonna go ahead and sketch the handle in. The handle is gonna come around his thumb, right? We're gonna draw past the thumb and the fingers so we, we're making it look like he's holding the actual bow come through this to the other side and then put a line here like this. And when you, when, when you have a figure holding something, you wanna make it look like they're really holding it. So that's why I had you or have the drawing where you're drawing through his fingers for right now. We'll erase it later. We'll have this piece come up and go around. And guys, because the size of the bow is so large, it's gonna go off the page and then gonna have an arc around like this so this shape is gonna go up over it's gonna go straight come around and then go off the page okay so the whole point is that you see the bow you know that you don't need to see the entire bow to know what green arrow is doing so we can go ahead and finish the rest of the bottom portion of it by coming in and putting a line right here and making this a rectangular shape then it's gonna come around and it's gonna go off the bottom of the page like this same thing with this piece and go right off the bottom. And go ahead and put his uh his, his legs in or or the top portion of his legs. So now I'm adding a little bit of detail to his outfit. And then there's another line that comes around just like this one above. And then we can add the top portion of it, the detail here. It's gonna come straight over like this. And then this portion is gonna come to the top. All right, now we can go ahead and add the arrowhead. The arrowhead is going to be about here. It's going to come over, put two lines here. It's a pretty simple shape and it's going to come up like a diamond shape. So we can put a diamond shape in here like this, have it come to a point. And then there's two points off the edge of it. He has a cool arrowhead and it's distinctive. So it's unique and looks different from most of the arrowheads you'll see on an average. Then he has uh, a point right here and then a point at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and roughly put in some of his detail of what he's wearing. He has a glove on and it comes up like this. And you can put a, uh, a line here. And then he has a, uh, a let's say a armband right here on his forearm. And then his shoulder's gonna cut off about here. We can kind of back, make this baggy. We want to make it look like he's actually wearing clothes at this point. And of course, we can't forget his, uh, where he actually has this portion of the extra arrows that comes out of the back so that if he needs to get more arrows, he can. Uh, it's usually in a little holster like this and there's a strap that goes across. So let's put the strap in. It's gonna come off side like this and just put a little rectangular shape here and we'll put maybe let's put four one two three then four and you just draw oval shapes here like this 
and they can be in, in various sizes. They can have different shapes as well. One can come to the point, other one can be kind of rounded. And you can do a point again, maybe there's four, uh, two each, and then round this part right here. And then you put a line through it to create the look of the arrow head or the arrow itself. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of wrinkle lines here because he is wearing leather. We want it to look like he's wearing leather. And then on his hand, he has lines that come in because he's wearing gloves as well. So you can put a line here. Notice what I'm doing. I'm going on each finger and putting an additional line. It's called a stitch line. Come around like this and you can do the, put a final one for his pinky. All right, and this brings me to the conclusion of this portion of the drawing. And if you follow along with me at this point, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up, erase it, make it look all nice and neat. And at the end of it, you can pause it and have a look at it or take a look at it rather. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe by clicking this round button at the bottom. Also, click one of the two videos at the top. Please like this video, tell a friend, and share it on Facebook. Thank you. The Art Hitman.